What a do baby girls and boys and men and women. How are you guys doing today? I'm super excited to be making this video. It's the boy Shingy as Yuji. You already know what it is. So today's video is really, really interesting because we're gonna have a quick little talk, guys. We're gonna have a quick little talk. I'm here to share with you guys. I was just thinking about this just the other day how my journey has been pretty crazy and how i've grown in so many ways and i've made so many mistakes along the way and i thought why not share because apparently the channel has a lot of beginner photographers and i want to touch on some mistakes that i have made along the way as a photographer so that's gonna be today's video <laughs> so i'm gonna be sharing with you guys a couple of mistakes that i've made so this is not a complete list I'm gonna make this video pretty short, but I'm gonna share with you the most important ones that I have done. And if you guys like this video, give it a big thumbs up, comment down below, and I'll do a part two of more mistakes that I've made or more things I've learned along the way. So let's get started. First thing that I absolutely hate myself for doing and for also thinking was gear matters. Guys, gear does not matter. So I was under the notion that if you have the best lens, if you have the best camera, if you have a full frame camera, you're gonna do well. So before we even continue with that point, I just wanted to say this is for my whole photography journey. It's not for film photography only. So back to the point, thinking that photography is about gear. If you have a full frame camera, you're gonna make the sickest photos, which is not the case. Do not make that mistake, guys. You will find yourself investing in a lot of cameras. So one of the mistakes I've made was I came from a Canon T3 to a Canon 7D. If you know photography like a lot, you know those are both crop sensors and they, there's not much of a difference between the quality of the image that you're gonna receive. And there's other things that do matter more than the body of the camera. So with that being said, don't make the assumption that the best, the camera. So like do not, in this case, do not upgrade from um, a crop sensor to a crop sensor if you shoot digital. Do not upgrade to a crop sensor to a crop sensor because you're doing the exact same thing. If you're gonna upgrade your camera, go from crop sensor to full frame sensor because those are legitimately two different spectrums. But crop sensor to crop sensor, it's not as beneficial unless you're shooting like, it's like a videography and there's like little perks and things like flip up screens and all that type of stuff. But as for photography, you're better off investing in lenses. And with that being said as well, investing in lenses, oh my God, I cannot even stress. I cannot even stress how many 70 to 200 f4 lenses or like this lens that is like an f4 and f i cannot stress how many times i've bought those and sold those bought those and sold those to only upgrade to like literally an f 2.4 or like f 1.8 guys <sighs> the amount of money i've lost in photography is ridiculous be patient work your things that you already have use those things learn them master them the whole point of this is take your time save up for as long as you want or as long as you need literally buying an f4 lens is going to make you buy an f2.8 to f2.4 like literally months down the line but when you do buy it you're gonna lose value in the lens i understand sometimes you might be very itching to get that focal length but trust me you're gonna be wasting money. So gear is one of the things that I messed up with. Second thing, these are not in any order by the way. Know your value. Hmm, oh my God. I did a lot of free shoots that I could have gotten paid for that made zero sense. I am talking zero sense. I was making really good images, really good images, and I was charging like, oh, I would charge like $40, $50. Guys, you are an artist. When somebody approaches you to be like, hey, I want you to take photos, they know you are amazing. So it's a very, very important that you know your value. So when people choose you to take photos for them, they know you're good. They're picking you because they like your style. So understand that, know that, live by that, and feel it. 
let it grow in you, okay? It's very important that you know your value because you don't want people to be taking advantage of you and as well as using you because there's a lot of people that will use you. Trust me, there's a lot of people that will use you. And also, you're an artist. You need to think about your financial life. Like, don't just, unless you're shooting for fun, then I guess it's just a hobby. But for me, I shoot because I really want to be a photographer and I want to make money in the future doing this. Because what's the point of investing the time wanting to be a photographer and doing free shoots? Free shoots are only good when you're doing them for a certain benefit. If it's your project, if it's your project and you have this vision, go pick a model that you want, go pick a brand that you want. Let them know to be like, hey, I'm doing this, but it's a collaboration at that point. But if somebody reaches out to you and says, hey, I really like some photos, charge them. They will pay the money. And I understand that there's a ton of photographers out there charge them ask around what other photographers are charging in your area and then sort of go around that price point so that you're able to make a bit of money on the side as well as do photography and again collaborations are okay if they're benefiting you this is your art this is your work do keep that in mind know your value i've done so many free shoots for brands i don't even understand why i was doing them and they were so good and i'd be working from like literally start to finish like morning to nighttime. I was loving it until one of my friends was like, why are you not charging? And best guess what happened? When I asked them to get paid, I got paid, literally. It wasn't even a hassle. They're like, okay, we'll pay you this much, but they had already benefited so much from me. It's different if it's like a certain brand that you wanna work with and you say, hey, I wanna like do this one shoot for you for free so I could show you my work and how good I could portray your brand. That's different. You're doing it in the intent that next time you'll be able to pay to charge. And that is very, very important guys. Know your value because you're very valuable and you are worth it, right? That's the second mistake I've made. Okay guys, so here's another mistake that I've made that I just literally, just a couple years ago, like a year, actually a year ago, that I have gotten to learn. Now I wanna share with you guys, I always share it on my social media and whenever I have lives and all that type of stuff when people ask me questions, this is one of the mistakes I've made. Build a strong portfolio. So I'm gonna touch on that. Building a strong portfolio does not mean to post every single photo that you have. You took a project, you wanna post every single photo. Guys, it is a very important. Take it from me, I didn't understand this until one of my friends that was in the industry was like, Shiggy, it doesn't matter that you have a hundred photos on your portfolio. It doesn't matter. What matters is they see the quality of what you can do. You could have a collection of five photos, your strongest photos. What That's what is going to matter. They're going to judge you based off of those five photos. If you have a hundred photos and they're all mediocre, they will see your hundred mediocre photos. If you have a hundred photos and you have like one or two that are th that, or three that are good and then uh, the rest are like mediocre they will judge you on the mediocre ones it's very important that you build a strong portfolio so building a strong portfolio is posting your best work so even if it's one photo post your best work not every photo is meant to be seen guys and this is something for people that again want to take photography seriously and make money from it. It's very important that you post your best work because that's what they're gonna see. So that means don't worry that people are not able to see your work and people are not able to, to like see all your stuff. It doesn't matter. When you feel wrong about a photo, don't post it. You don't have to post the whole 36 photos. You don't have to post your, your whole collection. That's why your Instagram which I'll also touch on, your inst like, don't get me started on the whole Instagram situation. Post your best photos. And also, one thing I've learned, guys, not the whole collection needs to be seen. It is very important. If you're gonna be doing a book portfolio, you post one photo per set, your best photo, and then have a whole bunch of photos from different shoots, showing them that you're consistent, you're able to do, you shoot a lot and all that type of stuff. But 
it's very important that you post your best work. When I first started, oh my God, I was posting a photo of a cat. I was posting a, a fashion photo the next day. I was posting a photo of the CN Tower. I had a photo of this. When a client like, let's say Off-White wants to go see my work, what are they gonna go look for? They're gonna look for fashion photos. But if they have to scroll through a, a billion photos looking for, oh, you wanna see this guy's portfolio? They're going through cats, dogs, um, flies, um, planes, all time. They're gonna lose interest. They wanna go and see, okay, you, this guy's a portrait photographer. I wanna see his portrait work. They just see banger, 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 banger. They'll be like, oh yeah, we're hiring him because we know what we're gonna get. That's another point. I'm actually gonna tie into this point. This is very, very important. Very, very important. You know what? Back to the Instagram before I forget the last point because my memory is has, super doo doo. Instagram, guys. Instagram, I understand that it's social media, but understand one thing. In this day and age, Instagram is no longer just a, oh, I'm just gonna post a photo like, like Facebook. No, your Instagram 2020 has become your portfolio. A lot of companies look at your social media First, they look at that and then they'll go to your website. So you need to grab them into social media and then lead them to your website, which is your official portfolio. It's very important that you do not disregard your Instagram. Do give it a little bit of attention, extra attention. So just treat it like your portfolio as well. With that being said, oh my God, I forgot the, I forgot the point. Oh my God, I forgot the point. Oh my God, now I gotta play this back. I forgot the point, damn it. Damn, y'all, I had to replay that whole entire thing to just remember what I was saying. Guys, I had to replay that whole thing to remember what I was saying. And oh my God, I'm so stupid. I, my memory is so bad. It is so terrible. But the point I was gonna stress, the last, last point is consistency is key. Oh my God. Ever since I found my style, ever since I understood that I want to make portraits, it was such a huge key to my success as a photographer, it's so insane. Have an editing style is so important because clients want to know what they're gonna get. They don't wanna know that we're gonna get cold shingy tomorrow. They don't wanna know that we're gonna get yellow shingy tomorrow. They don't wanna know that they're gonna get, oh, dark shingy tomorrow, or like certain things. Be consistent, know your editing style, know this. They love when they see a consistent feed. They love when they see all those things. That's one of the mistakes I made. I was doing so many edits, which was also part of the journey of me trying to find my style, but none of those things need to be posted. As well as it's okay to post those things because now I found my style, right? So I'm not gonna totally dog it out or like totally say it's completely wrong, but it's very important that you understand and you learn and you try your hardest to find your photography style slash as well as your photography edit to make your work as consistent as possible consistency is key when I began when I started when I started shooting I was just doing random things yes I wanted to be a professional photographer but I still continue doing random things and I didn't learn but this is why I'm creating this video so I could try to help you guys as much as I can and guys Take everything I've said with a grain of salt. You do not have to follow what I'm saying. You do not have to believe in what I'm saying, but this is my journey. And this is these are the things that I went through that I would love to share with you guys. A lot of you guys do believe in my train of thought and how I think, so I don't know. If you really found value in what I did, great. If you really like this video, guys, please give it a big thumbs up. Guys, I cannot stress how important it is to like the video. It pushes the channel a lot, guys. It pushes the channel a lot, it really helps me out a lot. And when you guys drop a comment, it really helps. Because guys, when I receive comments like, oh, you really do good video, you really do good videos, oh, your videos are awesome. When I get a lot of questions, it's like, man, like, why can't you just leave a like? It's such a simple thing and it helps everybody out. I don't know how to explain it. Like, I'm not here to beg for your likes because my journey is gonna con completely continue, but it really does help me out. And it builds a big enough platform so I'll be able to help you guys out. This is why when I talk about we photo gods, like other people's photos because you never know when your photos up there, you want other people to like it right and to give you some support or to follow you it's just very important that you do these little things to help each other out so if you really like this video i really appreciate it it really helped me out if you give it a big thumbs up and i know a lot of you guys it's not because you don't like the video or you you, you just don't like what i say or you don't like me it's literally because you probably forget and i do sometimes so i got in into a habit of showing support liking people's stuff because
because it really does help a lot. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. It is all okay. That's literally it. But um, thank you guys again for tuning in. And I really, really hope this helped. If it didn't, I'm so sorry. I wasted your time. <laughs> but I had the best intentions to help everybody out. But with that being said, if you want to check out my portfolio, follow me on Instagram at shotbyshingy. Check out my portfolio at shotbyshingy.com. If you want to support me some more, purchase some merch. Thank you to everybody that's been making a purchase. You guys are so awesome. Oh my God, I'm so blessed. Thank you guys so much to everybody that's been making a purchase on We Photo Go on waybetterco.com thank you so much this is one of the the jackets it's a very light jacket this is one of the jackets that we that is in the store right here super light very thin you could even wear in the summer i rock it in the summer as well really awesome really good quality and it's champion so the stuff that's in the store is pretty good quality yes if you really want to support me please make a quick little purchase i'll be looking to buy a camera soon i really appreciate it if you guys could help me out um buy that camera but um last but not least if you want me to check out your work and to help support you and your growth follow and hashtag at we photo gods it's an instagram i created for you guys i'll be reposting photos i think are really awesome in order to give you guys some exposure and some growth to help you guys grow just like the other videos that i've been making on underrated photographers when you're a creator i get it you're so stuck in like i want to go shoot i want to go do this which is good it's healthy it's awesome but there is a social media aspect that you got to take care of and i understand why you might not have all the time to take care of it but this is why i'm here this is why i'm asking for your support so will have a bigger platform for me to feature you guys that are very deserving of the feature but that's pretty much it i'm done talking next video will be on sunday stay tuned for that i'm super excited i'm happy i have so many cool projects so many cool announcements i'm happy and it's all because of you guys thank you guys so much it's the boy shingy as usual you already know what it is uh,